Yo, 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 what's up? What's up? It's your boy DLMO, Damuto. We're back with another video. Today, we're watching Dragon Beyond Dragon Ball Super, Goku's new transformation. Angel Goku is born. Uh, that it? Born against Takira. My fault, yeah. That's the whole title. So, ooh, we gotta see a new form. This shit about to be fire, son. It's about to be fire. I already know. And we already know we're about to see, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and check out, look, I'm watching the Myrna art, too. So, uh, I dropped the video yesterday. So, you know what I'm saying? Check that out, too. But anyway, let's get into it. Look okay, I get ad beef for like the first now, 20 minutes of this video. The events of Takira's brutal beatdown on Primal Ultra Instant Goku, as with Goku now left dangling at the edge of the ring with seemingly no hope in sight, it was only as Goku was gazing down into the void where Goku went on to respond, I don't understand. What more am I missing? I, I've given it my all, but e even despite my best efforts against him, it's still nowhere near enough for me to win. So, Come on, Goku. Neglecting Goku went on to ask himself, I did all that I could do, even combining the nature of who I am into creating one power, but why is there still a barrier that limits my potential that I can't break through or even see? I stood before the five, giving them all that I have, and yet even now, my power still pales in comparison to its second mightiest. And if he's this powerful already, then I... I'm no match for the Grand Priest like this. And if he's this powerful already, then I'm no match for the Grand Priest like this if I can't get past Takira. Mm. I sought strength through countless battles, but now I question if I've been chasing an unobtainable dream. He called it the Celestial Metamorphosis. To go beyond my mortal limits and enter into a much higher realm of existence, but what aspect am I missing? Goku went on to then further question. There's no way that I could continue to fight the final two of the five off like this. So, how can I do it? It feels like he left me to die out here like this. Wait a minute. That sage, Goku then went on to then quickly remember. The one that I had met and spoken with while in the mirror realm. He said that although I could never truly be yep, the mirror realm. Blood, Maybe that. It was still possible for me to reach true angelic levels of power but at what cost my sanity my life what exactly does it mean for me to merge my mortal consciousness with the vastness of an infinite multiverse it, despite my physical prowess goku went on to continue maybe i've neglected the spiritual growth necessary to reach the true depths of an angel's power mm. it even goes back to when i was training with i'm trying to figure out where the fuck he at okay there you go to match him in battle until four a split second i was somehow able to touch him so was that it what was it that we saw i know it happened more than once before it happened when i was training on vampa it happened when i was sparring against Whis, and it happened here when i battled yoshido and as it stands mm. takira's power is on an elite level that goes far beyond what my primal ultra instinct powers can measure up to and if what was said about the grand Prix strength being insurmountable is true then I must draw inspiration from their unwavering resolve and evolve no matter the cost and if by some chance I can't manage to do it then my fate is already sealed but I have to try there must be something that I can do because if I managed to somehow do it before then there must be some kind of a way for me to figure out how to do it again right now but but then, it was only just when Goku was now beginning to reminisce on what he could do to actually make a difference, where from out of nowhere, that was when Takira had gone as far as to levitate Goku's body and bringing him forward by responding, on second thought, before I walk away from this battle of ours, I want to look you in your eyes and see if what you're saying is true or not. Mm. Though I cannot see too clearly into what comes next, given how foggy your future is, I still want to know for myself if you truly have what it takes to pull the this off or not with Budo chiming in so damn it shut up Budo I even bother the, Get the fuck on somewhere bro do it. he cannot reach the heights that you wish for him to reach in order for the fool to give you a worthy enough battle so either eliminate him now 
and be done with it or tag one of us back in so that we could close this tournament out for good with Yoshido chiming in. Oh, pipe down, would you, Budo? Let's just see where this goes and find out if the monkey man can still pull something out of his bag of tricks out or not. It won't make a difference if you try and attack me now or not because none of it will even matter and so I want to know straight from your own mouth, son Goku. Can you do it? Takira went on to question. The power that you went along ahead to display momentarily against Yoshido. Can you use it? Do you have the ability to access this angelic strength whom only the 12 angel attendees possess or not? I will not waste my time in asking you again, nor will I bother if you can't do it. I am looking for a worthy adversary in you, Goku, not a charity case. Damn. Now answer me and answer with honesty, with Goku responding, I, I can't do it. Whatever and you know, I, you know, I usually don't. I usually don't pause. But you know, you know, I fuck with Takira. Takira, really, like, like he got a little respect for Goku. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he, he wanted to see him at his best and fight him. Like, like even if he don't get to that power, right? If he didn't get to that power, like he, he like, okay, you took out a couple of niggas. You took out some of our people. You know what I'm saying? He took out. Top five strongest. You ain't, you ain't stronger than them, but you outsmarted them. You know what I'm saying? So, Takira, Takira got a little respect for it. Power it is that you saw coming from me. It may not seem like it, but he do. Fully out like the Grand Priest, respect Goku. Yet. So you really can't do it. How unfortunate, son Goku. Oh, and here shit. I was expecting to find a worthy challenge in battling against someone like you. What a shame with the Grand Priest chiming in. So he really couldn't do it, could he, Whis? So this was his one and only staggering weakness which you couldn't help him break out of, wasn't it? Well, I can't say that it was going to be an easy one to overcome, but tell me something. Was this the same struggle that you've seen come from him while training for this tournament, Whis? With Whis responding, yes, it was. And the very few times that I've seen this power shine from within him, he was never truly able to draw this power out and stabilize it on the surface mm. with the Grand Priest responding nice see then without it this battle against the five it is, is over it is. here and now being shown grabbing onto Goku's face by then telling him knowing what you've known before fighting us you should have considered extending your time to train before agreeing to the terms that you did Goku and it's a shame that it has to end like this but the outcome between you and I wasn't going to be any different unless you were able to ascend beyond the mortal realm of power and into the angels, Takira continues. I will not go as far as to disrespect your efforts and what you did to make it this far. However, hey, you see? it appears as though you have much time left now that your life force is beginning to diminish. I will hereby leave you to perish in peace without the need to do any more damage than what was already dealt to you, Takira continues. So in the meantime, I do want you to know that I commend your efforts in trying and though you see your all with the little time that you had to prepare for us in the end when it's all said and done even your so-called best was barely good enough to help you fully get by without the stroke of luck and getting in your way to aid you and i no longer have any interest to continue to fight you son goku and so as you draw your last gasps of air before your world fades into darkness and i will always remember your ability in being the one and only mortal who stood against all the odds to fight for what he believed in. My fight for the sole purpose of getting the absolute best out of any and all situations that I am placed in, Takira continues. It was why I was able to match the angel attendees in battle, and it was why I was able to hone my skills to such an extent without compromising my morals Okay, Tier, Takira. I fuck with Takira, man. The little time that you have left that remains to think about what lies in the vastness of the cosmos that goes far beyond what you already know. I wish the outcome was different between us so that I may have had the battle that I assumed was going to take place. If all else, you do have my respect for at least giving it your all in trying, Goku. And if you try and fight me again by using the power that you've already tried against me, then you will lose and you know it, Sekiro went on 
want to continue? I am hereby finished, Grand Minister. You may now officially either count him down or wait until he draws his final breath. Either way, the Saiyan is no longer in any stable condition to continue. Mm. Once it is officially decided by the Grand Minister, this tournament is over, Son Goku. I wish there was more to your power than what you used against me, but there's a reason on why I rank second behind the Grand Priest in power, and hopefully this will become a staple for anyone else who ever tries to do what you did against the five of us once you are gone. To where as with Takira now being shown having to walk away with Goku now being shown face down on the ground, that was when the Grand Priest went on to chime back in by responding, well then, if there are no more interruptions, then I will hereby begin the countdown. One, two, a three, three, a four. four, with Akuma chiming in. Oh, he was foolish to have not gone along and call for one of his remaining lifeline perks that he had going for him. Well, so long, Saiyan. You were an interesting one, I'll give you that. With Budo responding, oh, what do you mean? There was nothing interesting. Shut up, Budo. I hate Nash, nigga, man. He was lucky enough to wield. Outside of that, Fuck it, I don't, don't like Budo. Like I hate niggas like Budo. Them. With Yoshido also chiming in. Well, I guess we should start making our exit then. So, uh, which way to our respective I mean, Yoshido, Grand Minister? Stupid, but man. not without Whis having something to say about this, because upon the Grand Priest now being shown counting Goku down, it was from out of nowhere during this countdown where Whis went on to encourage Goku to rise back up by shouting, "Oh, you will not let this be how it all comes to an end, Goku! You have come too far and have given too much for it all to be ripped away from you. You have." Have the power lying deep within your soul. I have seen it with my very own eyes to confirm the truth to you, and so you must hear the sound of my voice and rise back up and fight, Goku! And if this is that very moment which you need to find a way, then find a way and do it right now while you still have the chance! For it'll be the only chance that you will ever have to make this happen, Goku! And if you don't do something to rise back up and overcome the challenges that have brought you down to your knees in battle, then it'll all be lost forever. There is so much more for you to fight for, so much more for you to live for, for those who depend on you and for those who count on you. So now feel their hope, Goku. Feel their strength. And I want you to know that you are not alone. So now transcend into the realm of the angels and do it right now. And I believe in you, Goku. Mm. Being shown having to overhear Whis's voice by then responding, the, the realm of the angels, I feel them. In which seconds later, before you Goku could even realize as to where he was or what the heck was going on around him, he had only then from that point then found himself in a very mysterious place as Goku then went on to respond, whoa, where am I? What a very bizarre yet overwhelming place. Why do I feel as though I've been in this place before? Is this my inner consciousness? With the mysterious voice now going as far as to address Goku by then telling him, Saiyan mortal son Goku, at long last, welcome. With Goku responding, uh, hello? Is someone there? That voice. It almost sounds just like me, but a bit different. Who are you? And where am I? With the mysterious voice going as far as to respond to Goku by telling him, I am the very life that lives within you, Goku, both your warrior spirit and your soul. And you are here for a very important reason for it this is fire, time this for fire. to transcend. Let us redirect this primal power that you have forged towards the very door that will lead you into angelic transcendence in now entering a new realm of existence. With Goku responding, uh, but I don't understand. I don't see any sort of door in this place just darkness above you is where this gateway lies the voice went on to respond within your heart beats the spirit of a true warrior but also so the spirit of absolute compassion. Go. Deep within your being lies an untapped power that is yearning to transcend from the mortal realm into a higher world. Let us cultivate a deeper connection with your inner essence by fusing our mortal and celestial energies into a harmonious angelic power. I can feel it. A power that I can only describe as being something that I've only ever felt come from Whis before. So what am I to do? then with the voice responding transcend and evolve 
walk through that door to which on the surface as soon as the others were now beginning to leave and not noticing Goku's body begin to move it was only just as Goku was now beginning to slowly rise back up where Yoshida went on to respond all right everyone it's been fun while it hey hold on a second look down there it's the Saiyan are my eyes deceiving me or does it look like the Saiyan is pushing himself back up and that energy with yes sir no no just no what the hell is going on around here shut the fuck up budo that saying is crazy enough to think that he can still continue to do this akuma responds but i can feel it too something feels a bit different about him but why as even takira had gone as far as to stop on walking by then responding and wait a minute that energy could it really be? Within you lies the capacity to inspire others as you have done throughout your lifetime, Goku. To ignite the spark that gives them hope and strength, the entity continues. Enter into this divine realm and free your mind of any fear. Our Saiyan heritage grants us an incredible sense of determination and your angelic training the gift of absolute purity. Do you accept this path in stepping into the domain of the angel? Angels and beyond Goku with Goku then responding so this is my calling the domain of the angels and beyond I accept with the entity continuing then what is bound to be shall be done by opening both your mind body and heart will this not merely be about power but also about the profound connection that you will forge with the cosmos open your heart to the multiversal energy that calls for you aligning our spirit with the grand trap of existence which with all of these energies now beginning to enter into Goku's body that was when the entity went on to then continue let this strength come from your fearless pursuit of always embracing the unknown to venture into new uncharted this territories fire. and push beyond your comfort zone for it is through such great challenges that we are able to truly grow into becoming better the elder sage was right you could never be a true angel by blood but your potential is is what will serve as your greatest stepping stone towards reaching true angelic power. To which even back on the outside with Goku's body seemingly being shown standing still, that was when Whis went on to chime in, I, I truly can't believe what I'm seeing. Grand Minister, you would know better than anyone about such a metamorphosis. Could it really be? Wait a minute now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Yoshido went on to quickly butt in. What do you mean by metamorphosis? You don't mean... Uh, of course, Akuma says. It's exactly what it means, Yosh. And it's exactly what Takira had seen coming from deep within him and wanted to face. Oh, damn it, but how is it that the Saiyan is able to do this? It just doesn't seem to add up at all. Why him? Why now? Well, let's not jump the gun here for a moment, okay? Yoshida went on to question. What if all of this is for show, you know? What if the Saiyan... <laughs> He think he capping? Loads while trying to do, well, whatever it is that he's trying to do. And besides, do you honestly think that the Saiyan mortal has any sort of shot against Takira? You're all jumping to conclusions with this. As Akuma responds, all you idiots, that isn't the point. The point is that if he wasn't truly able to surpass us then and fight on par with Takira, then there only now means that there's a much greater chance that he does so now. Let us temper our Cool be hating too. Spirit with tranquility, our relentless drive with wisdom, and our say in nature with the balance of the universe itself. There is no other foe greater than your own reflection, the entity continues. We are so much more than flesh and blood, for we are more than the eye can see. Now open yourself up to a new beginning and a new power that surpasses all that in which have come before it. To have it be everything you were before four molded into one we saiyans are gifted with an everlasting and boundless power that can never be extinguished and a potential that is infinite even if this will be the only ever time that you enter into this realm of power relinquish anything that you may have known that came before that will hold you back from the greatness that you seek for it is the only 
way, let us always remember our roots of where we come from to always cherish those whom you love and use our strength to uplift and protect the lives of others. To become a beacon of hope and a symbol of grace just as your master weeps. Never lose sight of the importance behind the love and compassion you bear and radiate the strength through the virtue of always protecting others. And as we embark on this transformative journey into angelic divinity, always fight for what is true and for what is right, even if it means dying. Mm. In which back on the surface now, with the entire no realm having to be shown shaking, that was when Budo went on to quickly chime in by responding, No, Takira cannot let this say immortal do whatever it is that he is about to do without putting an end to it right now before he does. Oh, don't let him transform and fight back against you, Takira. Crush the Saiyan now. With Akuma responding, So you know Takira is a prize fighter, Budo. He'd rather fight this Saiyan at the absolute height of his power than go for a cheap victory. With Yoshido then asking, Oh, it almost feels like the primate god is dead on his feet. The primate god. <laughs> force is channeling in and out. I mean, Yoshido be roasted, nigga. Goddamn. With Akuma responding, Could it really be possible for him to find a power great enough to match Takira's or even exceed his? Grand Minister, his life force, we says, with the Grand Priest responding, and I feel it too, and so we will wait and see what he will do, especially if it's going to be what I think it'll be. So he was actually able to do it, Takira went on to turn around by observing, I can feel it coming. I feel it coming. Goku now being shown nearly having to finally complete his celestial configuration was where the entity went on to respond, no matter what happens, this will be the pinnacle of our very potential reborn, and as we now step forward and into the light, let us become the first of our kind to finally do it. To finally do it and transcend our very nature into wielding true angelic power. To come forth and now give birth to your ultimate angel form. In which upon a gigantic sphere of light now being shown having to emanate from center stage, that was when Yoshida went on to respond, God, what an incredibly powerful light. And just what the heck is in that ring? It looks like some kind of an egg. Oh, is that what he did? Did he transform himself into some kind of a godly egg here or what? It looks like right. some kind of a divine embryo, Akuma went on to quickly respond. No, but that's just not possible for any mortal to do. Oh, curse him. I hate that saying with every fiber of my being, Budo says. This shouldn't be happening, especially against us. To where finally, lo and behold, as this embryo was now beginning to chip away in revealing Goku's brand new transformation, it was just when Goku was now beginning to be revealed for the first time following this metamorphosis, where Yoshida went on to chime in, Hey, look, it's hatching. He he's different. He's changed. In which finally now, after everything he's been through, all of the battles, all of the struggles, all of the training sessions that he went along ahead to put himself through in preparing for this very moment in time, we now finally get to see the birth of none other than Angel Goku as Angel Ooh. Goku went on to address Fire. Fire. They need to get animated. Animated. Fuck that regular Dragon Ball Super shit, bro. Animated. Fire. 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 Rest to Kira then by responding, Behold the ultimate force of my celestial power through the radiance of my angelic form. This was what you wanted, wasn't it, Takira? Well, I have transcended beyond my mortal limitations into becoming far more than I ever could have been mm. in becoming one with both the universe itself and my inner nature at my very core. And the others are left speechless, as even Yoshida went on to respond, It's that ring that I saw again. Wait, so the Saiyan is an angel now? Remarkable, Akuma chimes in. N no, he he has an angel transformation, Budo questions? He, he had this power deep within him the entire time? I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Yeah, sure, that's fucking Goku, nigga. Goku, 
fucking Goku, nigga. Talk your shit. The way I've always known that you could. I knew it the day I saw you first display this angelic power without the knowledge of even doing it, as I was never supposed to tell you but only help guide you into reaching such a power if I could. And now it appears as though you have. You could never understand how monumental of a moment this is throughout all of history, Whis continues, for you are the first mortal to ever fully enter into the domain of the angel and achieve a power that is radically identical to my own along with the 12 attendees. This was exactly why I wanted him to go into the mirror realm and speak with the elder sage about his future. For now, he has finally completed his ultimate and true evolution. As Takiro then went on to respond, now there yeah, is what sir. I to see be nigga the, from you. Nigga the grand priest stood up for that nigga. Nigga got out his chair. The Grand Priest got out that nigga. He got out his chair because that nigga so... And then Goku's so cold with it, son. That nigga was sitting down the whole time. Only time he stood up was when the fight was over. If he did that. I don't think he even did that. I don't know. I forgot. And nigga stood up because that nigga surprised and amazed by this nigga Goku, son. I knew it. My word, I can't believe it! The Grand Priest went on to quickly stand back up by shouting. In all my years, I have never in my lifetime have ever seen, let alone would have thought for a mortal, to ever come this far in obtaining an angel form like this. Well, how truly amazing! Whis, you should truly be proud of how far your student has come, with Whis responding, Well, words cannot express how happy I am to see Goku finally achieve what a very few small handful of us already knew that he could and now that he's reached the apex of his power it is now time to see how he does against Takira in the end as indeed we will the grand priest continues now tell me mortal do you still wish to resume your battle against the second mightiest in the multiverse or do That'd you be fun I wish to continue what did Goku said nah I'm good <laughs> I hope you know that now that I am at the absolute peak left. and at the pinnacle of my power in both my Saiyan and angelic nature it's time that I give you the fight worthy enough for the second strongest in the cosmos so i thank you for opening my eyes to the truth of all things to kira and so now then are you ready well excellent then the grand priest went on to quickly shout by responding and congratulations for being the first of your kind in achieving such a rare and divine transformation and level of power goku and so the match involving both the second mightiest in the multiverse to kira and the newly born angel goku this shit fire Man. Now, if you wish Ooh. to share any final words, then it's you the may ring, the ring with the lightning. Zoom. As Goku from that point then went on to quickly respond to Kira by then telling him, You are without a doubt outside of Whis himself, along with Budo, Akuma, and Yoshido, the toughest and most difficult opponent that I've ever had the privilege to face off against. Ooh. But now it's my turn to hereby turn the tables on you, Takira. Because now that I have become all whom I was ultimately destined to be, I am going to take great honor in being the first since the Grand Priest to defeat you, Takira. Because now I'm going to come at you with everything I've got. As it was only right that Ah, oh, you can't end it right there, the man. Super story of the top five strongest warriors in the multiverse manga chapter number 54 special then comes to a close. Now this is finally it. Everything that Whis had been trying so hard to teach Goku in seeing the angelic power that was lying dormant within Goku in not allowing for Goku to take the easy way out by giving Goku all of the answers but more or less having Goku accomplish this by himself, does this only now mean that with Goku being at the apex of his power and at the pinnacle of his absolute strength, will this be enough now to get him on by in clearing past Takira, or are we bound to have something else occur that's going to change the entire- okay. Ooh, that nigga, ooh, that nigga cold with it. Anyway, okay, all right. Damn, I don't know. Okay. How y'all think this fight should end? Should it should it end in like a draw? Or some type shit like that? Or should Goku win? Then lose to the Grand Priest? Cause I don't think he should look look a really if that nigga Goku beat the Grand Priest, that'd be crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that'd be crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, that'd be crazy. 
I don't think he should beat the Grand Prix. So hopefully that's not in the books. That's not in the books. But it should be. I feel like this fight's in like a draw. I feel like this fight should end in a draw. That'd be fire. I don't know, man. What y'all think? Damn, this is this is a good story, man. Hey, I'm really you and your bag, bro. All right, man. So anyway, let me react. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.